All right, today we're gonna do an intro to Autodesk Inventor and showing you some of the basic features and how to get started modeling. We'll start by clicking on a new part. You just have to click that once and it'll start loading. And again, if you have any experience with Inventor, uh, this probably isn't the video for you, but for those of you who are just getting started and trying to figure out how it works, this will be perfect. All right, so anytime you're gonna model something, you need to start off with a 2D sketch. So here are some basic things you can do, lines, circles, arcs, rectangles. So you just if you click a line, click on the X plane, you can just draw whatever you want. Um, you'll notice it tells you the degrees. So I'm at zero degrees there dropping straight down to 90. Um, so those are some nice features with that. I haven't finished that sketch. I'm going to delete that. Uh, same thing works for circles. Just click. Put them. You can dimension it. So click and dimension. Then clicking on it. Let's say one inch. Um, now to make this 3D. So right here we have a circle. Let's make it into a cylinder. Go over here and click 3D model. Click extrude. I always like doing it from the center. So you click here. And so it's going to extrude evenly out both sides. And then make that 5 inches. So now we have a 3D cylinder. If you click here and you click within that circle and hold, you're able to turn around your part. Hit escape to get away from that. Now let's say we want to add something to this. Maybe we want to put a square hole through the middle of it. So what we're going to do is left click this face. And what we're going to do is right click the face. And we're going to say new sketch. And then we're going to go to rectangle. And we're going to go to two point rectangle with it being in the center. Go ahead and make that. Let's go ahead and dimension. Let's make that 0.5 inches. And then let's make each side equal. So what we can do is hit this equal button, click this one, and then here, and now they're both the same size. You have other features such as you can make two lines parallel to each other, perpendicular, horizontal, or that works great for points, horizontal points or vertical points. Here you can make things tangent. So now we're going to cut that square out through the middle. We go again to extrude. But this time we're going to click cut. And you can specify a distance or you can just say all the way. There's some other features there, but for now I'm just going to have it go all the way through. Click OK. And now we have a square cut out. Those are some basic features uh, to get you started. Um, if you want to see something else, uh, just let me know. And if you if you have any questions, post them below uh, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.